Hi, I'm Benjamin Hardy. I have your Arkansas Times news headlines for Monday, May 4th. Uh, national news has been dominated today by the shooting in Garland, Texas, in which two gunmen opened fire at an event sponsored by an anti-Islamic group. The men wounded a security guard before being shot dead by police. Um, one of them has been identified as a Phoenix, Arizona man, Elton Simpson, who's been on the FBI's radar since 2010 for attempting to travel to Somalia and join a jihadist group there. Uh, the event itself in Garland was sponsored by a group called the American Freedom Defense Initiative, a group with a long record of trying to stir up anti-Muslim sentiment. Um, at the event, people were participating in a contest to draw caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad, evidently for the express purpose of inflaming Muslims, many of whom consider such images offensive. Um, a little bit closer to home in Hot Springs, another piece of news uh, from late last week, uh, the U.S. Justice Department is evidently monitoring a gun range in Hot Springs whose owner declared it to be a Muslim-free zone last fall. Um, that's the gun cave owned by uh, Jan Morgan. Ju the Justice Department didn't say if it plans to take specific action against the business, but it does say that it's, it's monitoring the situation out of civil rights concerns. Earlier this year, the Times reported on a college student from Hot Springs who said he believes he and his father were turned away from, the, from that establishment because they're of South Asian heritage, though, although they're not Muslim. Uh, Jan Morgan has said in the past that she believes Islam is inherently violent and that she ban has banned Muslims from her establishment out of security concerns. She claims that she has the right to do that because it is a private club and she doesn't have to worry about uh, discrimination. Anyway, in less controversial news, let's talk a little bit about taxes. Um, tax revenue is way up for April in Arkansas. Uh, because income tax season, April's revenue report is the largest uh, of the year, the largest monthly report of the year, $624 million, 15% higher than was forecast. And that's a $54 million increase over last April. A positive sign for the economy, perhaps, and um, hopefully things will continue in that direction. Uh, over the weekend, there was a March for Equality in Russellville um, that drew about 300 people, pretty significant number for a town of Russellville size of about 30,000, um, and ex not exactly a, a bastion of liberal uh, politics. Um, the event was sponsored by a group called Polk County for Equality, and it grew partly out of a counter-protest from the previous weekend against an anti-same-sex marriage rally. rally. So uh, we hope to see more from these guys um, in the coming months. Uh, finally, um, the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission has confirmed that a fisherman in Lake Bentonville last Friday caught a piranha out of that lake. Uh, not as unusual as it sounds, evidently, said a spokesman for the Game and Fish Commission, which owns the lake and stocks it with fish. Um, piranhas and similar tropical fish are often released from people's home aquariums when they get too large to handle. Uh, they say that piranhas can't survive the winter weather, so that no per permanent population is in any danger of being established in Arkansas. Not to worry. Uh, that's it for today. See you back tomorrow for more news.